Hi everyone, it's Gina K from Gina K Designs and I'd like to welcome you all to another episode of Stampin' Chat, Mix It Up Monday. Tonight we have a very special guest with us and I'm gonna bring her on in just a minute. But I wanted to first talk about tonight's topic. I didn't post this in uh, on Facebook or YouTube, but tonight's topic is don't always believe everything you read. Also, don't always believe everything you hear. Every single person on the planet has a unique story. And don't judge people before you truly know them. The truth may surprise you. And don't be so quick to believe what you hear because lies spread quicker than the truth. I'm so excited to have you all here. And tonight we are gonna have a lot of fun with stencils. We're gonna be doing a reverse stencil technique that I learned from somebody very, very special to me. And she is here tonight. Let's welcome Rena Kay. Hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm back. <laughs> so Rena is here with us tonight and she is going to teach me the reverse stencil technique and we're going to play. Play. We're going to teach it. Oh, That's I was going <laughs> to. Well, we can do it together. <laughs> For <Okay>. sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So tonight we're going to be using a variety of stencils for this technique. And we're also going to be using some of Rena's Electro Pop inks. We're also going to be using a digital download that is available over at, um, well, we'll put the address to the download underneath the screen on YouTube. And I'll also include it in the description over on Facebook. So you'll be able to find this and download it. And it's got lots of different greetings. It's called You Matter. And it's got some beautiful greetings that you can use for all kinds of cards. And we're going to use them tonight. So, all right. So we can go to the overhead shot and we'll show you what we're going to be using tonight. So we've got, um, this is the stencil from the new kit. This is the ornamental fan stencil. We also have, which one is this? Thick brush. Thick brush. And we have, <laughs> this is like a quiz. Yeah. Um, square mandala. Square mandala. Elegant lace or lovely lace? Something with lace. Lace. <laughs> Look lace. up lace if you're looking for this one. <laughs> and this is Art Deco. And then this is Rounded Swirl. And this is Sunspots. Mm -hmm. We have to use Sunspots tonight, definitely to do a rainbow kind oh, for of sure. thing. Yeah. So uh, what one do you want to use? Um, I am going to use Art Deco. Art Deco? This one always. You lose like, my mind. I'm okay. Use this one with can, the inks. Can you use that with purple tape? Yes. Okay. All right. I think I want to do the sunspots because I want to do something round with mine. Okay. All right. So I've got some cardstock here. There's one for you. Thanks. And one for me. So um, how have you been? I've been doing okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've been going to school every day. I've been touching a lot of mannequin hair. Breaking a lot of nails, yeah. but you know. So for those of you who don't know, Rena is in beauty school right now. Like, you know, yeah, it's very hard to be in the same scene with her. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Rena, I've actually been wearing the same shirt for three days, so. <laughs> Do you know I cut my bangs today? Yeah, they look nice. I did. I cut. I they cut. look nice. I actually didn't learn how to cut bangs. I was not there for that day. So. Okay, so you know how I did it? I pulled all of my hair from here I combed it all forward from back here. From back here, I combed it all forward, and I took the scissors and I then I pulled it into the center, and I just went bloop, and it kind of went around my face, and then it cut all the layers too. Have you ever seen those videos of people <laughs> pulling it and trimming, and they? <laughs> yes, I have. I was just I, like, I did it very low, so that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I've watched those videos. Well, I've actually been doing cosmetology for a long time because my mother used to own salons, but actually my first haircut was given to my sister without her consent or knowledge because she was asleep at the time when I was like three or yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. And it was not good. No. She got some bangs that day. Yeah. Except she got them <laughs> on the top of her head. And she was <laughs> not happy about it. But I didn't know. I was just like, this is what mom does so I can do it. And now that I'm learning everything, I'm like... Oh and I gosh. remember when that, that day <laughs> happened and I asked you, you were so little. And I said, do you, Rena, why did you cut your sister's hair? And you said, I was trying to wake her up. Oh, yeah. And I, <laughs> I thought it's got to be better ways to wake her up. <laughs> All right. First question is, does Rena have extensions? Yeah. 
Yeah, she does. <laughs> I, yeah, I just wanted to add some extra length and some crazy to it because my hair doesn't grow. I've been bleaching it and swimming since I was like five. Yeah. Both started <laughs> when I was very young. So my hair is just kind of wrecked, but that's what's fun about beauty school is you just get to try and everything. Like I have blue, I have some, what color would you say this is? Blue Lagoon? Yeah, Blue Lagoon, Blue Raspberry up here, and a little wild wisteria. Yep, so I have just some fun <laughs> colors, so it's just time to try everything. I will say they're very itchy, and they kind of choke me in my sleep, but... <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> All right. Well, you can ask any questions because Tom is here manning the questions and he'll just yell them out as long as they're questions about Rena's hair or what we're working on. We can answer those. If you do have any questions regarding orders and things like that, we don't know the answers to that, but you can easily find the answers by clicking over to customer service through email info at GinaKDesigns.com. You can also call our toll-free number, um, and that information is on the website. So you'll be able to find that by just clicking the contact us. All right, so what are we doing here? How are we starting? Okay, so um, do you have blender brushes? I do, I have yes. blender brushes. Oh, okay, these are very nice. These are from Simon Says Stamp. Aren't they cute? I love them. Yeah. I love that this is actually Hello Yellow. Yeah, I know, right? It's so, so fun. I've been finding neon products everywhere. Maybe it's just that thing where, like, once you start like looking for something that you start noticing it everywhere. Yes. But I see neon everywhere. I was trying to like buy some new neon brushes for school and stuff. But then I was like, I needed to, I need to pay my bills. Yeah. <laughs> I can't just be in <laughs> surrounded by neon products. <laughs> oh, and also if you're out there and you are having any trouble seeing the screen, if you think it's not bright enough or if you can't hear us, sometimes if you just go out and come back into the live, it corrects a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. um, but if, uh, if everybody is having problems with the screen being too dark, you just let us know. We uh, we can we can fix that. We have a fix for that. For sure. Okay. So I think I'm going to do a rainbow using the sunspots. Okay. So I want to kind of segment it off mm -hmm. so that it's actually like red, orange, yellow. I want to go around that way. Okay. I think I am going to do the warm colors. Okay. I think I'm going to do yellow, hello yellow, orange glow, and raging red. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of blend that all over just because I want to make something hot. Okay. Well, I can start with green, blue, and purple and then work my way back around. Okay. Okay to uh, red, I okay. need pink in there too, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna start with Loud Lime on my card. I'm actually gonna lightly take this down. Oh, should I do that too? I mean, in my technique, I did. Well, if this is your technique, girl, so <laughs> we're gonna do it your way. <laughs> okay, just a little dab of tape? Yep. Okay. A little dab. A little dab. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with Loud Lime. Oh, oh, I forgot that. I the, have to do the color underneath. The loud line. I don't even know here. my own technique. Oh, that's cool. I love this color because it's a yellow green. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just a weird kind of yellow green, and it's the perfect blend. So I did that one first. I'm going to rub that off, and then I'm going to go to the green. So I'm going to use the same brush. That's what's kind of cool. You can just rub the color off and then mm -hmm. blend it in. And what's nice is that if you don't put a ton of ink on these projects when you're doing this technique or a technique that involves blending, it really feathers nicely at the edges so you can blend the next color into it nicely. And then also if you blend, say I was doing orange right here and then I did yellow on top, you could go back over with the orange and blend into it a little bit without putting any ink on the brush and it'll blend it out really nicely. That's a great idea. All right, I'm gonna go to blaring blue. I'm wondering if I'm going to end up with pink or red at the top. We'll see. Is there a right and wrong side to stencils? There is not. And that's what's kind of cool because some of our stencils, like our floral stencil, it's a floral, but it's going in one direction. So if you flip it over, you can have it go in the opposite direction. And that allows you to create maybe one flower going one way at the top and one going the other way at the bottom. But there is no right or wrong. But on the new stencils you have, um, they have the names on the bottom. Uh, are they lasered in? Or? Yeah, they yeah, are. They're mm -hmm. lasered in. So if you pixie spray one side, you can usually be able to tell which side you pixie spray. Just yeah. so you don't mix, mix it all up. That's right. The new ones have that. I'll show what that looks like. 
the new ones. So you can see down here, it says ornamental fans. I don't know how easy that is to read. And then it has our website over here. So that's kind of a cool stencil too. Okay. I love that one. I do too. That one is part of our kit and that kit, those stamps are in transit. We should have them really soon. I can't wait to bring that kit back to all, everybody that's waiting. No. And do more of those silhouette mm -hmm. style. So I was talking images. to Alicia about it and she was like, these are really interesting colors for the cardstock in it. And just like, oh, yeah, yeah. it's a really interesting card kit. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little purple here. This is poppin' purple. Potent purple. Potent purple. <laughs> Oh yeah, came. yes, that's right. Potent purple. Sorry, it's okay. I'm ruining your brand. It's okay. <laughs> You're still using them. I am. I don't use the purple and the blue Fake and the red fan. enough. <laughs> Not. No, I didn't say I didn't use it. I just said I didn't use it enough. <laughs> that was so violent. I know. Sorry. <laughs> no, the purple I really like because it really is kind of an in between of. Um, the wild lilac and the lavender. Yeah. It's like super bright, but it's still that rich purple color. That's not as blue as wild wisteria. Well, and that's really nice too for um, when you're doing layering stamps and you need something in between those purples. Mm -hmm. I don't know that people always think to grab one of the neons as one of the layers, but they I look mean, really I good. Do. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I'm going to add a little more green in here. For sure. I like what Ooh, you're I like doing. that. I you like, like what that? you're doing. Yeah. I just think it might be cool with the, um, I have to be careful though, not to like make brown here. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay to have brown. I'm learning that brown is a very important color in the color wheel because that's the majority of hair colors that we do. Oh, that's true. So, well, I'm thinking too, that even if it gets a little muddy with all the colors blending together at the top, that's where I'm going to put my greeting on this. So, and I was going to say too, that when doing this technique, just because a little bit of the color shows, it doesn't really matter how much you blend it or not. It's mm -hmm. still going to look really smooth. So I feel like I want to, wow, everything's everywhere. And like I'm one looking minute at it on the screen and look how bright it is. <laughs> So I'm gonna move this cause I need to turn this. I feel better like coming down this way For than sure. going up. So, okay. So we'll get some red in there. This is an amazing red. I do like it. It is so vibrant. So red and purple go pretty well. Mm -hmm. So Michelle wants to know why one of you went from light to dark and the other one is going dark to light. Um, the reason that we did that is because uh, Rena grabbed the three, the red, orange, and the yellow, and so I was stuck with going backwards. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why, no real reason. I, I, I like to start with red, but Rena grabbed red, orange, and yellow and left me high and dry, so. I tend to pick a more difficult way of doing things anyway. Excuse my hand, my reach. So as you can see, <laughs> I am making up for my difficult decision here and I'm blending this orange near the yellow. And um, what are you laughing at? I'm just laughing. Are you laughing at my skills here? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Let's not no. get it twisted. No. <laughs> of course not. Never. <laughs> So um, I think, what do you think if I do a live one time and make dad stamp? I love that idea. I think Tom needs to get in on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to wait for you to finish that orange because you see my little bald spot there. That yeah. needs orange. <laughs> well, I'm taking my time. You can't rush blending. No, you can't. You can't. That really looks pretty. Thanks. The thing about this is when you're doing this technique... Um, and your blending did not prompt this comment, just so you know. But when you're doing this technique, even if your blending isn't perfect, <laughs> even if your blending See, sucks, <laughs> it's still going to look really cool because <laughs> of the. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. I just like to joke. Yeah. With my mom. We know that live. by now, right? For sure. <laughs> All right. So, my blending's getting a little wonky here. I just need, I think I need. Who's wonky now? <laughs> I need, I need reinkers. Oh, yes. I have been using these neon inks for a while with no reinkers, and 
I need them. Yeah, see, that looks cool. I like this blend. And then I'm going to go back. There you go. Can I... Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just take your yellow off of this brush. For there we sure. go. Okay, so that's kind of a fun rainbow. And I'm just blending a little more orange into this to feather it. That is really bright and yeah. vibrant. Don't be I afraid like to go over it a few times. I always go over it like six or seven times just to make sure. Sorry, it's okay. All right, so that's the first one. Yep, I think that's where I'm going to stop. Yeah, me too. Okay. How long do you have to wait for these inks to dry? I think they're dry right now. Yeah, I think they're pretty dry. I mean, if you're really worried about it, you can get a piece of paper towel and you can kind of just like add over it just to get any excess. But see, like nothing really came off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think they're pretty dry. For sure. They dry. <laughs> they're a dye ink. So they're different. They're, they're a little bit different than our regular water-based dye inks. Um, but you can even watercolor with these. I think Lisa Hetrick did some watercoloring with your... Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. that. <clears throat> and so you can watercolor with them. They're very... They're reactive, too. Like, mm -hmm. if you put a little bit of water on there, they kind of do Simon things. Simon Hurley taught me that because he always sprays his projects. Yeah. And then it worked on these inks, and I was like, ooh, I didn't yeah. know that. All right, so what do we do next? Okay, so now we put the stencils on. And I like to just make sure that they're pretty symmetrical on there. Okay. So I have to be careful because I've got this. Your doggy is here. Mishi. Do you want to bring your doggy so everybody yeah. can see Mishi? Why are you so while she's getting her dog, I'm going to flip that over. And then I'm going to... That's Teddy barking. If you hear Teddy in the background, she does not like Mishi. She just doesn't. Because, you know, Teddy's like... In dog years, Teddy's like 105, and Mishi's like a teenager. So Mishi's a little boy. It's like a nine-year-old little boy. It's angsty and smells bad. And <laughs> just takes out all his aggression. All right, so can we go to front shot and show Mishi? <laughs> hey, there he is. Oh, there's a pretty boy. <laughs> Looks so good on camera. He's getting so big. He's so fat. He can't stop gaining weight. I don't know that he's fat. He's just really fluffy. Yeah. This is all fur. Look how long his fur is. That like is a, a buffalo. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good job. Okay, now please okay. be quiet. Back to stamping. Teddy's hanging in there. Yeah, Teddy's doing okay. She's hanging in there. I've been cooking her nothing but hamburgers every day. and She's been living the good life. And bacon. She gets bacon, too. Oh. So. Oh. oh, so do you tape it down on the front as well? Yeah. Okay. I guess. Is that wrong? No, I'm just asking okay. because, you know, this is your technique. Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll okay. That too. So you just want to make sure that everything is stuck down real tight because we're using black on top of it and we don't want it to smudge. Okay. And I have a brush there for the black. Okay. So we're just going to share this. Yeah. I want to see you do yours. Okay. So this... I have found is impossible to not get on your fingers while you're doing it, but that's okay. And did you use a brush in your video or did you use a sponge dauber? I used dauber? a brush. Okay. I used a brush. I used a sponge dauber for the colors on the background because I was making really like a rainbow with all the colors. And skinny lines mm -hmm. and stuff. So mm -hmm. I like finger daubers. And with these inks, they blend really nicely. Sometimes I struggle Ooh, blending and with them. Do you know what just came back in stock? What? today and everybody loves these so i want to show them um everybody's always looking for these our jumbo daubers are back in oh i need i have three and right now that's you know how enough. hard it is yes. to make a rainbow with three daubers <laughs> so everybody's been looking for these and they finally came back in stock these come from japan so it took a while to get them here but um they go they fast are, yeah is it really hard to get that black ink off and what kind of black ink is it so this is the Gina K Designs uh, Black Onyx Dye Ink, and it's super easy to get off the stencil. You just rinse it off. Yeah, and use some cleanser, or what else do you use? I've used Windex, and Windex works fine. Um, yeah, it doesn't stain. Mm -mm. This stencil's already stained because we've been using a lot of Electro Pop ink on it and um, Glitz Glitter Gel and stuff. So the stencils sometimes do get stained. Mm -hmm. And I know that there are some people that will buy one stencil for all their ink stuff and one stencil for all their um, 
like matte mediums and glitz Glitz. and all that. (laughs) All right. I'm going to do mine. I'll wait to reveal mine. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start the center here. Just work my way out. I did my nails tonight before I came over. Mary asks, why do the color if it's covered in black? Oh, well, that's where the fun comes from. You'll see. You'll see. It really, it really, it's a cool look. It's a reverse stencil look. So you get the opposite pattern that you normally get using a stencil. So like the little lines that are covered on here are going to be rainbow, not the outside of it. And it looks like those things you had in the 90s where you scratched off their black and you scratched off and oh, yeah. sketched into them and made the color. That's what I thought of when I saw these. Okay, so that, does that look like good coverage? Yeah. Okay, right now, if you look on the screen, it looks terrible. Yeah, and it's misleading because you see the color underneath. So it looks like you didn't cover everything, but you but once you do it. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this reveal. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. Woo! Ah, oh, look at that. That's so cool. That is so cool. Yes. And you covered the brown spot. Yeah, I did. I didn't even think about that. Yes. Wow, that is very cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me, I got to take mine off here too. So. Can we zoom at all? Uh, well, you know. Do we have this technology? We do. Uh, where's the little remote? Here we go. I think we can zoom in a bit. Yes. Let's zoom in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, yeah. It matches. It does. It's perfect. I did them right before I came here. Okay, and I love how you just turned that over and made it look like no mess at all. So I got to do that. There we go. Look at that. So those are fun, aren't they? And they look so different than if you just use a stencil once with the colors. Like it gives you such a contrasting look. Yeah. And yeah. Instead of the 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 white, you have black, which I don't know. It always looks spectacular. Mm-hmm. I just love it. Okay, so um, for my card, here's a background. Oh, you don't want to use that. We should use some white. You should use some white. Yeah. So if you want to put my background on, because I think I can use black. This one? Yeah. 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 I will cut you a background, because you definitely need a white background with that. And I'll do it over here. Oh, we're out. We're out of tape. Never mind. There's another one. Hear the panic in her voice. <laughs> what do you mean? I have more. We're out of t- Oh, I know you got more. <laughs> you, know, you better right? have more. <laughs> so what? Oh, there's a hair stuck in it. Oh my gosh. Always with you. For sure. Yep. Okay, so you need a different color card base with that than white. Mm-hmm. We could do like a like a. Do you, have, do you have blue raspberry? I do. Let me use that. Blue raspberry? Yeah. Do you have any blue in that card? No, never mind. Sorry, I was looking at your card. <laughs> <laughs> How about a wild dandelion? Uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Yeah, I guess. All right, top fold or side fold? Um, Top fold. All right, so that means I need the big paper cutter here. I'm off to the side cutting paper, guys. Okay. And then, what colors did you use? I used Raging Red, Orange Glow, and Hello Yellow. All right. Yeah, I think this is going to look good. There you go. Thanks. I have a nail that's about to fall off, so I'm taping it down. With purple tape? Yeah, don't touch me. See, purple tape fixes everything. (laughs) (laughs) For sure. Thermal Web rocks. Okay. So I'm going to use a white card base. Oh, that does look nice. Yeah. So mine's going to go there. I'm not in the scene. Are we too close up? No. no we're in the scene. Okay. So I'm going to put mine on. You know what? Here, you take that. In the meantime, while she's taping, if you've never seen how easy it is to load this tape runner, I have to show you because I have done the struggle bus with those big tape runners. And the refills come in a two-pack like this. Like this. Okay, let's not cover (laughs) my work here. And then um, they're super easy to load. So I'm just opening it up and I'm just pulling out one of the cartridges. 
And so all you have to do is there's a little button here that says push. You push that and it opens up and then this whole thing just comes out. And then this just pops in. First you dump it on your daughter's craft space. <laughs> and it's all ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I think you should use the one with the red heart. The greeting with the red heart. You know, why is there like Mishi hairs all in this? I'm trying my best. <laughs> there is, there's Mishi hairs everywhere. See, teddy hairs you don't see as much. Would the neons show up on black paper? No, they do not. Yeah, because they are a dye ink, and so the dye ink is a transparent ink. So when you put it on top of something, it's completely transparent. So whatever's underneath will show through. Mm -hmm. If it was a pigment ink, it would show up, but mm -hmm. it's not. Okay, so here are some of those greetings from the, um, the You Matter digital stamps. I feel like that would look really cool right I in the agree. center. That one or You Matter. I think this one. I think I should take You Matter because, oh, I stand with you. Never mind. I want yeah. this one. Okay. So can you give me one of those black ones that you have behind there? You have two. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that would be really nice. Do you want anything for a border or are you good? Um, I would like, do you have a white gel pen? Yeah. Or oh, yeah. Let, let me do some stuff with the white gel pen because the reason I like using black ink and using dark space so much on my cards is because you can use white gel pens to decorate it. And okay. it's so much fun. I just need to do some dots. Okay. Well, I have um, a couple gel pens here that haven't been used in about a hundred years. Already? So <laughs> if you want to thank, if you want to try that, here's a little piece of cardstock you can try it on okay. beforehand. And I feel like, like maybe I want to put something across the center of this, but I don't want to lose all that beautiful um, color either. You know what would look nice? I'm going to use a little bit of vellum. I think I'm going to do that. I think vellum just softens everything. And we'll see how it looks. I might have to pull that off of that card. I just zoomed it out a little bit. Thank you. So I've got a two inch by six inch piece of vellum here. Oh, I love that. Isn't that cool? I'm actually going to layer this on top of this yellow piece and then cut it out. I know I could measure this and make it easier, but I already stuck it down. There you go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to pull this off of my card base and I'm going to pull this piece off. I'm getting crazy here. This No, I better not do that. Maybe I'll just go around the outside like this. Come on, have a little. No, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> not on the live. <laughs> not yet, not on the live. And then I'll just fold that around the outside with a little bit of tape. Can you do this with your technique, or with your ink skin? Absolutely, you can. Absolutely. We're just promoting Rena's inks tonight because Rena's here and, you know. And I don't use her inks enough and I love them. And when she's here, I don't know, she, you bring out like the little girl in me, like the fun bright colors and all. For sure. So, so I mounted this on this piece of wild dandelion just to tie it all in together. Sorry. Okay. All right. So how do you like that rainbow pattern going around instead of oh, kind of spinning out? I love that. Okay, I think that just jazzes it up a little bit. You Hi. like jazz? I like jazz. I also like um, foam squares, and I don't know where they are. So I'm going to use some of my foam tape. Oh, I like that, Rena. And now I'm just going to put little dots in the center. Of these you are the queen things. of dots. I do like them. It's like minimal effort, but it adds so much to the card. That's really cute. Can everyone see that? Yes. All right. I don't want to bump you. <laughs> My elbow did just hit your boobs. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> okay. So if you guys follow me on Instagram... Go over after the live and check out my Instagram. I posted a picture of Alicia and Reno when they were really little, and it's so cute. We kind of had bowl cuts going on. Yeah, I did that. It was the look. All right. 
So there we go. There's mine. That's fun. That is very fun. Still How are we doing on time, Tom? I don't have any idea what time it is. We're just 30 minutes in. Oh, good. We could do another one. Perfect timing. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So, um, hmm. We got to do another one. What stencil am I going to use this time? I want to use the fans. Okay. Definitely want to use the fans. I'm going to use one that I didn't use in my last video. Let me do the thick brush. Okay, thick brush. I'm curious to see how this one's going to look. Oh, I think the thick brush would look really good with this greeting. The I see you, I hear you, I mourn with you. Mm, I'm going yeah. to use the greens. I'm, I'm going to do the cool Soft, colors yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to do neons this time. Yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> or we can. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, let's use whatever colors. No, I think, no, let's use the neons. The soft colors are good. I like the soft colors for that. Okay. Because this this <laughs> green actually doesn't look too bad with this green down here. Yeah. I think it'll work. I think it will too. Okay. So I love it. That's so cute. I think that's where I'm going to, I'm actually going to add a little bit, even though it's not totally in the middle, just to give it the illusion. That's the worst if you draw one. Yeah, spot, the wrong you spot. Then I got to drop until it's just all covered in white. <laughs> well, that's so fun. So there's our first two cards, reverse stencils. Let's give them a little zoom. A little zoom zoom. There zoom, we go. Zoom. Okay, that's good. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. Super fun. It looks like like light is hitting this one. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It absolutely and looks like I really like, like, like how this like blurs it. That looks super cool. Just something different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, next card. Next card. All right. I'm going to gently take your card here. Okay. And put it over here because I'll take pictures of these. And we have a really fun Facebook group. So if you're new tonight and you haven't uh, been here before, we have a Facebook group called Gina K Designs and Stamp TV Friends. And it's a really, really fun, friendly group. You do have to join. It's a private group. So you're safe when you're in that group. We have moderators that, like, watch the group like a hawk. If there's ever anybody that's, you know, shouldn't be in the group, they're gone. So you're very safe there. And it's really good because we all get to see everyone's projects and share and gas yeah. each other up. Definitely. I love seeing how people take the techniques that I come up with or that I do on my videos and how much better they make them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So for sure. So Sorry. you're going to, you're going to use blues and greens. Yes. Well, I want to do that too, but maybe I'll use like pinks and oranges and maybe I'm going to go with a softer look. So I think I might use dye ink. Okay. So I think, I think I'm going to go with, I wonder if this will be bright enough when it's done. Oh, it will. You think? Yeah. Okay. So I was thinking Dusty Rose and Sweet Mango. Okay. All right. So I have a couple other little brushes here. I'll just use these for mine. I'm sorry, I keep reaching. That's okay. Actually, what was that? It was Mishi. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh my gosh, Mishi had a whole Electropop ink in his mouth. Oh my gosh. So Mishi's favorite ink is is Orange Glow. <laughs> Mishi. No Don't know where he got that, but it was packed. Don't worry. You couldn't get in it. Just be naughty. All right, so I'm going to use some Dusty Rose for mine. Ooh, I got a smear, but that's okay. I'm going to just go ahead and go right over the smear. That gray mat is just cardstock, right? This piece of cardstock, yeah, this is cardstock, and underneath, it's um, shelf liner. It's a cushy shelf liner, and it's um, it's really. Where did I get it? I think I got it at Bed Bath and Beyond. Got like a whole roll, so you mm -hmm. could keep replacing it. it was yeah, super cool. it's not something though that's very durable. It just looks good on camera because it doesn't have a glare. Like I really like the Tim Holtz glass mat. I mm -hmm. love that thing, but I have trouble getting it to not glare. That's mm -hmm. the big problem for me. So even though I would want to use it when I'm stamping and not on camera, um, I don't know that uh, I, I just struggle not getting the glare. And so this mat is good for the camera. This is about the worst ink blending I've ever done. 
I'm not <laughs> like, your best. What's going on? Are the hand stamps come in cubes and are they glow in the dark? They're not glow in the dark. They don't come in a cube because they're kind of already a cube. This is called a mega cube. And this is somewhere in between a regular ink pad and an ink cube. Um, and we did that because they're really easy to hold in your hand if you want to use them with the wreath builder or the mandala maker. Um, they also are great for background stamps because they're bigger and not as hard to... I was just looking for this. To, <laughs> sorry. <it's okay. laughs> not as hard to, uh, to navigate when you're trying to do a bigger stamp. But it didn't make sense to do cubes and then something that's just a little bit bigger than a cube. Also, if you have a black light, these colors do look really cool. I can say that. They do? I have seen them under a black light. And they look cool? They look cool. I've never tried that. If you find yourself at a a black <laughs> black light party, <laughs> whip out your neon inks and show people how cool they are. <laughs> Maybe that's why most of us are like, really? Yeah. we don't do the black light party. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I remember when I was, gosh, I must have been like 14 or 15 and back in my day, when you were 14 or 15, they had clubs that you could go to that were underage clubs. So like sometimes I would go and I'd be in line and there'd be people in front of me that I knew were adults and they were trying to get in and they were getting carded and getting turned away because they were over 21. Too old? Yeah. So it was Weirdos. an under 21 club. And they just played lots of disco music and people, you know, young people that were under 21 had an opportunity to meet and it was fun. We danced and everything. But one thing that I did not know was <laughs> it was bad. So um, back in that day, and I'm sure some of the people watching probably can relate to this. There was a singer named Stevie Nicks. And Stevie Nicks was a, um, she was kind, she was like very hippie-ish and she wore these really pretty flowy outfits. And so I bought one of the tops and it was a very flowy kind of top and it was a little bit translucent. And I had a white bra on. All right. Well, it was fine <laughs> until- fine. everything's fine. Until <laughs> <laughs> until they shut the lights off and turned the black lights on. And then I was just a dancing bra <laughs> in the middle of the dance floor. Just shaking it. I had no <laughs> idea that I was glowing. <laughs> so, yeah, that can happen. That's when I asked you to dance. <laughs> <laughs> At that moment, he knew. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be pretty. It's going to be soft, and it's going to be pretty. For sure. That's a thing now. Yeah, it is a thing. <laughs> I can't stop saying it. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over, and then I'm going to put the purple tape on the back. Why is there, like, a ball of hair on my <laughs> Just kind of like it's your going thing. On. <laughs> that is a con of having these bundles in Hair my extensions. head is that there's they, a lot also on the floor do they just like fall out yeah sometimes i'll just be brushing and one whole thing will come out and i just say well it feels lighter over here now you know what <laughs> there's nothing i can do about it our audience doesn't care i actually put a wig on in the middle of a live um, oh early on it's early on in the pandemic oh. <laughs> we were all we were, they all were dire times. times yeah <laughs> we were all struggling <laughs> All right. Oh, I love your colors. Yes. Ooh. So which one are you going to use? Are you going to use You Matter or I'm going to use, well. I'm using, using the green the, one. Okay. Yeah, the one that has I green I feel like it. I'm going to have to put something on this, like a little heart. Do you have any uh, ribbon that has purple in it? No. I think purple would look, because I'm looking at the purple tape with it. Oh, I yeah. Think a purple thing <laughs> would just look put really... a piece of purple Honestly, tape across yeah. the center. <laughs> that... that would be really pretty, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The stencils are sold individually, right? That's correct. The only stencil that's not available individually right now is this one, the ornamental fan. Um, and this one is available in the kit. But once our new kit comes out, which is not that far away, August, we're going to release it. Um, that one will have a new stencil in it, and this one will go into our regular inventory. Yes. All right, so you do your black first. I want to watch. 
All right. Someone is asking to list the colors again. So the colors I'm using are Screamin' Green and Blaring Blue from the Electropop inks. And my colors are Dusty Rose and Sweet Mango from the Dying Collection. But you can do this with any inks. What is Gina drinking? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Just having fun. It's always more fun when you're in the room, Raina. <laughs> I try. Oh, goodness. I'm getting sweaty in front of these lights. Are you sweaty? No. Okay. Not at all. It's just be me. Yeah, it, it is. It's just you. <laughs> Somebody just said, don't forget to like the video. Yeah, if you don't mind, if you're watching over at YouTube, if you could give this video a thumbs up, we would really appreciate it. You can also subscribe to my channel over there on YouTube. And um, if you're watching on Facebook, you can like the video too. Appreciate that. It's kind of neat. We're streaming on both platforms at once. That is cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's fun. All right. Okay. Your turn. All, All right. right. Do you see something? Yeah. <laughs> Saw some, some brush poking out. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do mine now. So this is a nice big brush. This is a Picket Fence Studios life-changing brushes. I like all the brushes. I have all the brushes. Um, all the brushes. <laughs> yes. And we actually have brushes coming. I'm really excited about our I brushes too. too. So more coming on that soon. All right. So yeah, you're right, Rena. When you're actually um, putting this together, when you're using the black, it kind of looks gray until you take the stencil off. Mm -hmm. And it gets more... More black. I'd like to announce that my thumbnail has come <laughs> off, but that doesn't change anything. I'm still me. Does Rena have her own YouTube channel? I do. It is so conveniently named Rena K Designs. So if you already follow Gina K Designs, just drop that just G. Drop that G and add an R. So let me tell you something funny happened. I had such a wonderful customer, um, viewer somebody that subscribes to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. She sent me your YouTube channel and she said, I think somebody's knocking off your YouTube. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I know her. <laughs> she's awful. Yeah, she's the worst. <laughs> she's blocked. <laughs> I've reported her. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this, this is like the most fun part of this. I know. That's why I like stencils. They're so easy and they add, oh. oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. That came out great. That really did. Well, you are inky. Do you want a tidy towel? Uh, yeah. There okay. you go. This is, we're just going to leave it like that. Yeah. There you go. There's a tidy towel. Thanks. Okay. Um, so if you're new to Gina K Designs, the tidy towel is our little stamp cleaner. And uh, you wet it and it's completely lint free. It gets rid of all of the ink. Oh. Oh, that did turn out nice. Doesn't that look cool? You know, our inks, it doesn't even matter how bad of an ink blender you are. They blend themselves. Because mm -hmm. you guys know that I didn't do a very good job blending the ink. I mean, come on. When, when people watching ask me what I'm drinking, <laughs> I can't mean good things. What's that? This is the uh, Black Onyx dye ink. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I love this technique. I do too. It's a great idea, Rena. All right, so I think we can use black with this for yes. sure. Okay, because we've got enough color going around the edges. Mm -hmm. And then I think they'll look really nice on those white card bases that I cut. So. Here you go. Yeah, thank you. Your nails hooked me. Sorry, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> he has a tendency to do that. There we go. It's not perfect. It's hard when you do the black on the black. It's also hard when you and I are. I know we're like in the same bubble. <laughs> this probably isn't even safe. This live is not <laughs> up to social distancing standards and protocol. <laughs> It's true. All right. So should I do mine this way? Oh, I did my other one that way. 
I like it this way. Do you? All right, you yeah. do yours that way, and I'll do mine this way, okay. just so that we can be different this time. For sure. All right. There's nothing like that white cardstock. It just makes it pop. Do you always use black for the stencils? Uh, for the reverse stencil technique, you you can use other colors. Like you could use a dark, really dark brown or maybe a slate or a navy. Mm -hmm. But the black seems to be the most striking. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So now. Right here is mine. Yep. And here's my, oh, mine's already put together. That's good for you. I wish I had done more vellum. I feel like I need more vellum. I'm like, a, I am so hooked on vellum right now. It's not even funny. Yeah, do some more. I might do some more vellum. I might have to. I'm going to do that same two inch by six inch design. Your doggy's very upset. I like I that. It's pretty. A lot of questions on what kind of paper you're using. So um, all of the cardstock that we're using today is the Gina K Designs Pure Luxury White Cardstock. And that's why, that's one of the reasons why we get this super smooth blend. Um, there's just something about it that really, really makes the ink blend beautifully. It's so smooth. It's so much smoother than Nina. I know a lot of people love Nina and I like Nina too. I, I like Nina for a lot of things, but this for ink blending and for stamping, you will not find a smoother cardstock. So I'm gonna. I'm just adding little shine lines. Oh, on that's these a good idea. Just to make them look a little more three dimensional. Mishi, this is not the time to be sad. And I'm just flipping this um, vellum over the edge because that's a great way to not see the vellum tape. You just kind of seal it over the edge like that. Although I usually do it on the white layer or on the printed layer and then do the black mat. So that's a little different than what I usually do, but we're improvising tonight. Cause I'm, cause Rena's here. Cause yeah. Cause <laughs> I'm thinking like, I'm thinking too late. I already did something and then I'm thinking too late. But I like the little pop of mist over it. That's what vellum is like. It's just like mist. Mm -hmm. It's like it's out of focus. Yeah. What pen is that? Nina? This is the Uniball Pigment Ink UM153 White Gel Pen. Yep. The Uniball Signo, right? Mm hmm Where are those sentiments from again? So I'm going to link these under the, um, the video over on YouTube, and I'll link it in Facebook. It's a free download. Um, and it actually, I'm just going to give you guys the link to my Google drive and you can just pull this file right out for the, sentiments. for the sentiments. They're free. You can use them over and over again. Just print them on your computer and cut them out with circle dies or square dies or just a paper cutter or a punch. And, um, please feel free to share them with other people. They are, I made them free for anybody who would like them. And they're good sentiments. They're good for so many things. They're certainly good for all the issues we're having right now in our country. And also really good for encouragement, just people that need some words of encouragement. Oh, we finished at the same time. That's Sympathy. You can use that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like those, too. They're, they're simple. They really can't, they're simple to do and you really don't need to do too much. I mean, I thought about adding some flowers and stuff, but the, the design is in the stencil. So you really don't want to, um, to take away from that. So can you zoom out just a little bit? Maybe we can get all of these in. Let's see. There we go. Okay. All right. I'll clean up. Okay, that's good. Please don't drop one on my I card. Won't. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so there they are. There's the four cards we made tonight. Usually, lately, I've been making one card because I've been making such complicated cards. Okay, I love the little lines on that. Mm -hmm. That just, that really jazzes it up. It's really cute. And of course, if you want, you could take sequins or rhinestones. This and one would look really it. good with rhinestones, too. They it fit really be. nicely in there, the disco ball ones. Oh, yeah. Really nice mm -hmm. on that. Yeah. Wow, so those are our finished cards for the night. And how are we doing on time? Oh, we're getting close. 
Well, we certainly don't have time to do another card, so I think it's time to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. But uh, tonight, let's see if we can. Here we are. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Um, this was really fun. I loved having you here. I hope you'll come again. I will. Okay. I have Mondays off. That'd be great. Yeah. I would love to have you on Monday nights. Mm -hmm. Um, so tonight's topic, let's throw the topic up again. Tonight's topic is don't believe everything you read. So really don't believe everything you read. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe everything you see. So my final quote for the night is, don't believe everything you hear. Real eyes, real eyes, real lies. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight, <laughs> joining us tonight. Yeah. We um, are so grateful to have you here each week, Monday nights, Wednesday nights. I will be back on Wednesday night with Wednesday Whimsy and, well, Whimsical Wednesday. I changed it. It was Wednesday Whimsy. I don't, I don't know why I picked that. Maybe she was drinking. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was. Is that up? No. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to just, excuse me. I got to fix something here. All right. Let's see there. Okay. So um, we will be back on Wednesday. I already know what I'm going to do. I'm really excited. I, I think I'm going to teach a technique on Wednesday of how to extend your stencil for a slimline card. Ooh. But I don't know if it's going to work yet. <laughs> We're, We're going to do some testing. We're going to test it. But that's kind of what I want to do. Plus, I have a great idea for a slimline card. So I hope you guys will join me. Are right. those long cards? The long I ones. I love yeah. the long cards. They're yeah. so fun. They're fun. Did you know that they fit in a regular business size envelope too? Just a regular envelope that you buy at like Walgreens in the office? Really? Yeah. They're really cool. Love All that. right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Please stay safe out there. Stay healthy, and we will see you again next time. Bye-bye.